Once you finish the foot rows, stop with the main mark at four o'clock. Our next step is to start on the toe. We'll begin by transferring the last of the river needles to cylinder needles. It's a lot easier to Kitchener the toe if you have a, a knit row on each side that you're putting together. So we will essentially crank one more all knit row to set our future selves up for happiness. As soon as you've removed the last river needle, you can go ahead and remove the river. And again, it's a good idea to peek, make sure everything looks fine in your sock. Now we're going to keep cranking until the main mark gets back to four o'clock. It's here. And now, as we did before, we're going to lift the needles to the right of the main mark all the way around to the halfway mark. And then we'll crank until the raised needles are in front of the cam area. We're ready to engage our heel spring and start the toe. The toe is just like the heel until the very last step. So again, we're going to remove the weight Add the heel forks. And move up our cable ring. And replace the soft weight. And now lift the first needle by the main mark. Crank back. Continue lifting one at a time until you get to the target marks. I'm ready to lift my last needle before the target on the main mark side. And then they'll lift the last one on before the target on the halfway mark side. Now we're gonna put down two, wrap behind. Same on this side, I'm going to push down two, wrap the yarn behind those two. And from here, I'm just going to push down one at a time and wrap behind. The one difference between the toe and the heel is that on the toe, you do not wrap the out of work needle next to the main mark and the halfway mark. And then here we are at the halfway mark. We're going to lower that one, wrap behind it like usual, and then again, just crank until the halfway mark is at nine o'clock. And then we're going to push down all the rest of the needles and crank until the main mark is at the break in the yarn feeder. Now we're going to cut off a, an extra yard of sock yarn, which we will use to Kitchener the toe shut later. And we're going to pull that directly over the main mark. So make sure that the needle fully closed, the needle just before the main mark, fully closed around your sock yarn. Then we're going to get our waist yarn again. We're going to clip the ends together, but this time we are not going to hug the needle. We're just going to drop the waist yarn right over the main mark, right beside 
the sock yarn. That will make it easier for our kitchen ring later. I'm going to crank slowly, make sure I don't drop a needle or a stitch. And crank two rows all the way around. Now we're going to mark the two stitches on either side of the halfway mark and we'll do the same on the main mark side because that will help us make sure we've caught those corner stitches when we're kitchenering. I'm going to crank halfway around. I'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. Now you want to crank a total of about 10 rows of waste yarn. That will be fine. Cut my waste yarn. And then pull the sock off. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.